This video is for people that own a double drawer fisher, Paykel dishwasher. A couple things I've tackled this weekend. I don't know if you can see, but uh, all those holes are pretty clear. They were not earlier this week when my dishwasher went into the they looked a little more like that. But this one seemed to be the culprit of water in the bottom of the pan, causing the float switch to send the dishwasher into idiot mode. Anyway, here we go. So, I didn't have a ton of water. Uh, how do you turn the flash on? Where's the fucking flash? All right, here we go. That's good enough. So, you can obviously see there was some water down here. This is the first time it's happened to me. And the usual things you'll find online are the lid here the black rim around there isn't seating properly to this edge here which there's always going to be some water there I mean it's a dishwasher but what I think I have <clears throat> excuse me discovered is that as you Here's your motors for the lid. When you go in the diagnostic mode, you can pull this drawer out and make this lid. Actually, I'll just do it real quick. Give me one second. You hold down the lock button and the start pause button right after you hit that. And then you hit power. You go into the... Beat show, I don't remember what it means. I'll call it ho. This is what it says. BL is backlight, that's for the LED. I don't know what that is, I don't have the list. So LD is lid. So if you leave it on LD, and then you push the lock button to activate whatever feature you're set on, you can watch it come down. As you can see mine kind of jumped here. One side seems kind of smooth. There's really not a way to... I don't think... Grease the tracks like you would in a power window on a car. See how it kind of takes a sec for one side to come down? But what I've discovered is, yeah, it looks funky going up and down. And I ran a rinse cycle after the cleaning cycle that caused water down here earlier today. But there's a little, uh, hopefully you all can see this. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit. There's play front to back on both sides. So, after mopping up the water earlier today and doing some troubleshooting, just kind of seeing what was going on with the lid, and then running a rinse cycle to get some of the stalactites out of the bottom of this thing, which I'll show in a sec, I think maybe my motor is a little weak, or maybe the track could be cleaned or whatever but I think the problem was is that this was pushed back on both sides or just off kilter enough to create a, a bad seal here and then I ran I, I pulled them both forward here so they're even put the drawer back in ran a 12 minute rinse cycle or whatever it was and I didn't have any water in the bottom there. 
or as I did when I just ran a regular cleaning cycle because I had stuck some 30% uh, vinegar down inside this thing to clean some of that crap out. So now we'll get into the bottom side of this thing. If you knew or didn't know how to take these apart, it's not crazy complicated. Spin that little guy. This looked like an underwater cavern cave the other day. It's far cleaner. I put 30% vinegar down in this thing. I've scrubbed these stainless steel plates with CLR down in my basement stainless sink. And the 30% vinegar works, but you don't need much. And if you go that route, do not breathe it and we're talking like a quarter cup and then throw this thing in dishwasher mode and uh, it should take care of the majority of the crap that's in here anyway I hope this helps somebody out just don't pitch your fischl, Fisher Pakel dishwasher without trying some of these little things first if you have the uh, F1 error code I believe it is